Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Before we get into the designs today, I just wanted to show you all the colours of mini tinsels that are going to be available on Nell Sugar's website later on today. They will be, I'm not exactly sure what time, but do keep your eyes peeled. Um, there's 10 different colours, they're all holographic, they're all stunning. I love these so much. If you do make an order today, don't forget to use code NATMUG10 to get yourself 10% off. There is also going to be these really gorgeous holographic shards. I'm going to tip them out onto a glitter tray so you can see them in their full glory. Look how stunning they are. So they're all different shapes. Beautifully holographic. And that blue is... Oh, I just freaking love that blue. So those were called the sapphire ones. I don't know if these are fuchsia or hot pink. I can't remember what colour these are called. But they're like a fuchsia-y pink. Can you, oh, they're just so nice. And then these are the purple ones. I love these purple ones. They pick up blue, pink, red. I can see loads of colours. Look. Oh, my gosh. I don't know why, but holographic stuff does things to me. I love hollow. Hello. Right. So... These are the ones that I've swatched. These are just the tinsels. I haven't done anything with the holographic shards today, but I will do a video with those probably next week. Um, so I've got the turquoise ones, the red ones, the silver ones, the black ones, and the lavender ones. I am going to be decorating them with Christmas designs, and I'm going to be using Nail Camille's gel polishes and artisan gel paints to create all the detail today. Um, I'm going to start with Saltstone, which is their white gel polish. I'm going to create the penguin's tummy. It is absolutely miserable outside today. It's pouring down and it's just, it's just horrible. Yuck. I hope everyone else has got nice weather. I know in Australia it's really, really hot now, which God, it really baffles me. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't baffle me really, but it's like, how can it be? I just, I don't know. I just couldn't imagine it being hot around Christmas time. It's just like, it's not supposed to be hot at Christmas. <laughs> They're missing out on the whole experience, aren't they? Well, they might not be. They, they obviously are used to the heat. I don't think I could ever live in Australia because I... I can't do heat. I, I much prefer cooler climbs. <laughs> so I've put two coats on his belly. And then I'm going to put two blobs to create his eyes. I did put a lot of gel polish on it. So he has got very big eyes. But actually I quite like the, the mistake that I made. It was kind of... The gel polish was kind of spreading. <laughs> And I was trying to get some off it. And I was thinking, no, stop, 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 stop spreading. So, and then I obviously had to make the right eye the same as the left. Um, so I will just tell you, instead of me keep saying, and I cure that for 30 seconds, and I cure that for a minute, the artisan gel paints need to be cured in an LED lamp for 60 seconds. And their normal gel polishes need curing in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. So I do sort of flash cure and cure quite often, but I don't want to keep repeating myself. So just so you know, okay, 30 seconds for gel polish, 60 seconds for gel paint. There we go. Um, I'm using the Artisan Black gel paint now just to outline. I'm going to give him a scarf because I don't want him to get cold. So we're just going to give him a nice stripy Christmassy scarf. So all I'm going to do is... This is the outline and then I'm going to go into the scarf and create little sections. And then what we will do later is we will fill in the different sections with, we're going to go with green and red because they're nice Christmassy colours. They look like teeth, don't they, at the moment? It looks like he's got a bloody great grin on his face. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I can't unsee it now. It's just like this big grin. Right, I'm going to cure that before I fill it in. I'm using... This is Blood Wine. This is one of the gel polishes. 
this one is very similar to the red in the right you see the black parts where the scarf is you see the the parts with black underneath it when i have to color over those i'm going to use the artisan gel paints because they are like you see i'm putting the gel polish on and the gel paints are a lot more pigmented so you can see the color over the black but you struggle a little bit with the the red because the the gel polishes although the gel polishes are very pigmented they're not quite as pigmented as the gel paints so you can see there that you can see the red a lot better hang on i'm probably not showing it very well <laughs> so now we are gonna go in with the green i'm gonna do the green gel paint on all the green sections because the the green gel polish that I was going to use was snake oil and it was an ever so slightly different shade of green and I thought it would look funny if he had two different shades of green on his scarf it kind of reminds me of a rugby scarf like a, like does it is it like I don't know why is, why am I thinking of rugby now I should be thinking of Christmas weird that popped in my head how random so I'm just going to finish colouring in the sections with green. There we go. I'm going to be using the orange artisan gel paint to create the... Is it a beak? That's what they call it on penguins, don't they? A beak. He's going to have like an orange beak and it's just going to be a very simple triangle shape. Nothing too fancy. You could add shading and stuff, but I didn't want to. He's quite a simple penguin, which I quite liked. So I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> oh dear. I'm now going to go over with Nail Camille's non-wipe top coat. This is one of my favourite top coats. I really like this one. I don't think... I see the, you, see, you, you can just about see the black tinsel there, but I don't show it very well from the video. But I'm hoping later on when I do the close up of the nails, you'll be able to see it even better. How cute is the penguin? I've never done a penguin nail. <laughs> For the red nail, I'm going to use the artisan gel paints in gold and I'm just going to create some drapey lines. You know, like the. the Christmas tree nail that I done yesterday. I'm kind of using that idea and I'm going to create some gold baubles. And then I'm going to take my dotting tool and I'm just going to dot some dot some dots on <laughs> parts of the lines, different sections. I'm not going to fill the set the like the lines up with loads of beads, but just put two or three every now and then just to add a little bit more detail there we go and then I'm gonna go in with fool's gold this is my favorite gold gel polish at the moment it's got gold glitter in it it's a slightly different gold shade to the gel paint the gold gel paint that I'm using but I quite like that because I felt like it made the bauble stand out a little bit it's also got the so it's got the gold glitter in it and it's also got flecks of silver hollow through it which is really nice I don't know that I will show it off very well I'm gonna cure that then I'm gonna go around the outside with the gold artisan gel paint just to define the baubles I call them baubles uh, someone else comment well actually I've had a few people comment now I call them baubles. I, I think some people call them... Do some people call them bulbs? And some people call them bubbles. What do you call these things that hang on your tree? I call them... In England, where I live... Um, well, like the UK, not just in England. Um, we call them baubles. Like bore balls. B-A-U... But it's spelt B-A-U-B-L-E-S. Baubles. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I always thought everyone called them baubles. But I've learnt something new. So let me know in the comments below what you call them. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so that's done, and I'm going to go over the top with the No Wipe Top Coat. This is the Glossy Top Coat. I really want to say Glossy Taco, but I won't, but I just did, but I won't say it, but I just did. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. And we're done. Boop. That's now number two. I wanted to try and keep these as simple as I could for you, so that you just could make some simple Christmas designs. I didn't want to go too over the top. Um, for the blue nail, I'm going to leave this matte, and you could put top coat over and then buff the top coat, but or you could use a matte top coat. But I got lazy and I didn't do anything, and I just left it as it was because I thought it looked kind of cool as it was. Um, yeah, that's what I did. I'm using the white artisan gel paint to create some icicles. Now I'm only putting these on one side of the cuticle area and I'm going to, they're going to taper. Is that the right word, taper? I don't know, but they're going to, the icicles are going to get shorter as they get to the end. Well, as they get towards the middle of the nail. And I'm just going to put some arches across. I don't know why I think they, although I have seen some nails and some people don't put arches and they still look equally cool. But I quite like the arches across the top of mine. I don't know why. And then I'm going to create two snowflakes. I know you're probably sick of me doing snowflake nails. I just thought the blue on this was kind of icy and cold. And I just thought the snowflakes would complement it. So to do my snowflakes, I like to do four lines. So two crosses, one going horizontally and vertically, and one going like diagonally. What have I done? Oh, I, I thought I'd frozen then. I was like, oh my gosh, it's all gone tits up. Um, I'm going to put another one. So they're not, I'm not doing them completely on the nail. They are coming slightly off the nail. So you kind of have to work out what they'll look like, if you see what I mean. And then you can create your snowflakes however you want. You can just put straight lines on. You can put dots on. You can put little tapered blobs. I don't know, you can do all sorts. You can do like a little triangles between each of the lines. I I don't I'm trying to say this, but you probably know I don't know what you're on about. Um I'm gonna put dots and little like pear-shaped curves that Sarah Britton done on one of her lives. I really like those. Out of shot look. Ha, I had to do it, didn't I? So I'm gonna take my detailing brush now. What am I doing? I can't see. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, look, there we go. So all you do is like push your brush down and then sweep it around to meet that line. I made a mess of that one. Why am I doing this? Natalie, hello. Oh look, there we are. I was like, oh yeah, look, I'm out of shot. Titty. And then, I'm, so I'm just gonna repeat that on all the other lines that haven't got anything on. And then the ones that are slightly coming off the nail, I think I only put like one lot of, of these swoops on. Right, and I'm going to do the same on the bottom. Oh, I'm getting annoyed with myself just watching this. Oh, good grief. It's painful now. Maybe I'll just skip forward. Okay, so that's those done. <clears throat> I always like to go over my snowflakey or icicly designs with this glitter called Glacial from Nail Sugar. It is a transparent glitter and it just makes the gel paints glisten like proper snow or ice or whatever it is that you are whatever design it is you're going for so i just leave it for a few seconds to soak in and then i tap off the excess and then i cure it in the lamp for a little bit longer anytime i sugar things i usually leave it in the lamp a little bit longer than its normal curing time and then I'll take my soft brush and I'll just wipe off the excess glitter and you're left with a really nice sparkly snowflake. I think that looks quite nice with those matte tinsels underneath. 
they look a little bit like um it just looks like it's frozen do you know what i mean let it go let it go no not the song but the now <laughs> i love that film so much right the middle now i'm going in with my non-wipe top coat and look how gorgeous the silver tinsels are Oh, they look amazing. In real life, they look good on, on video, but in real life, they look so much nicer. I can't tell you. I'm going to put an easy peasy snowman on here. Now, normally, I do double decker snowman. So, I'll have like a big ball for his body and then a slightly smaller ball for his head. But I'm going to go for a triple decker snowman today. I'm going to live dangerously and we're going to go large today. I only usually go large with my McDonald's meals because I'm a little bit of a McDonald's freak. I do love a McDonald's. This is why I can't lose weight. <laughs> right, I've cured that blob. Now I'm going to go in with another blob and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than the bottom blob. I was kind of letting gravity do its thing, um, but it was just too slow, so I was... <laughs> I'm so impatient. That's one of my... One of my... Um, my negatives is that I'm impatient. There we go. Cure that. And then we're going to go in with his head. Not off with his head. In with his head. I put another blob on. And then I'm just going to use my 8mm detailing brush to um, spread it out and make it nice and round. I kind of wished I'd done like an Olaf, but I was thinking it would probably take too long. This was just a simple snowman. Right, I'm going to take the... Oh, yeah. Um, you know, just when you think, oh, I need, I really need a brown. And I was like, I don't have a brown. Nail Camille's Artisan Gel Paints, you get 12 different colours. And in there, you get a brown. Can you believe it? And in or you just get all the colours that I wouldn't normally have. I have them in my Artisan Gel Paints set. And I just think, that's just brilliant. I love them. But first of all, before we go in with the brown arms, we're going to give him like wooden arms, like stick arms, whatever you call them. We're going to give him a nice red scarf. So all I'm doing is like giving him like a choker kind of look. And then I'm going to put like a red line coming down. That's just going to be a scarf. Um, I had to show you this. I had to keep this in. Oh, not this bit. I was being a tit. I was like, onyx, onyx, onyx. Um, I don't know why I was doing that. Um, I, I'm going to create his coal the, the coal like his face and stuffs and I used the gel polish to do this on my detailing brush and firstly I put the I put the coal on wonky look he's got like a wonky body now and then and then look wait wait for this <laughs> what the heck so this is why I cure as I go sometimes because because I've I've stuffed that up. Look, I can just wipe it off and I can start again and I don't have to do the whole entire snowman. I just have to do like the little bits of detail. So instead of using the gel polish, I'm using the black gel paint on my eight millimeter detailing brush and I can get those dots a lot smaller and I can. It's just easier to add the finer details with the gel paints. This is why I love them so much. See, look, I've managed to get a lot more pieces of coal on as well. And I've still got room for his nose. <laughs> so don't forget his little coal pieces at the front of his body. Also, I managed to put these in pretty much a straight line the second time around. I know, I know, pat myself on the back. <laughs> there we go. Um, and we're going in with a brown now to do his arms. I just put like a line doesn't matter if it slightly goes over his body um just put a brown line with two little sticky bits at the end just random like pokey bits pokey bits i don't know what you want to call them and then i'm going to do the same on the other side he looks so cute already uh we're going to do his carrot nose so i just start at the center and then as I bring my brush up, it, I, I bring my brush up as the nose trails off. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit longer. 
look like a Pinocchio nose. And then, of course, every snowman needs a kind of, I don't know what you call these kind of hats. Like, the little hats with the, they've got like the lip, but then, I don't know, it's like a magician's hat, but it's not. I'm going to call it a magician's hat because I am not a hat connoisseur. I don't know what they're called. But he's got like this little cute hat. And then I'm taking Nell Camus Velvet Matte Top Coat, which is my favouritest all-time top coat that's matted. My most favourite all-time matte top coat. You know what I mean. And I'm going to just cover the snowman. Only the snowman is going to get covered in this because I still want you to be able to see that gorgeous hollow shining through from that tinsel underneath the snowman. I just thought it would make a nice contrast. There we go. Zap that in the lamp. Oh, how cute is he? We wish you a Merry Christmas. Okay, I didn't really know what to do for the pink now. I went, I had like a bit of a, a blockage. Um, no one likes a blockage, do they? Um, I'm going to use the pink artisan gel paint and I'm kind of going to do like a winter one. Well, the idea was to do a winter jumper design, but it kind of just looked like um, like a Greek, you know, like you get the Greek key design. I don't know. It just looked, it just reminded me of a Greek nail. Not that that's a bad thing, but it wasn't what I was going for. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I'm going to fast forward this bit because this is my least favorite nail. So I'm going to go down the side of the it's supposed to be like cable knit but it looks do you know what i mean when i say about it looks more like a greek key nail <laughs> perhaps it's because i didn't do it matte or anything i don't know um i just thought the pink would make a nice contrast to the to the lavender but i guess the whole point of doing a jumper nail is that they're the same color i don't know and then down the side i'm going to put some dots then I'll cure that for 60 seconds and instead of leaving it like matte I went over with a glossy stop saying glossy top coat a shiny non-wipe top coat um I think this didn't help this made it look more like Greek <laughs> and less jumpery but I mean it was kind of I love look at the lavender the tinsels underneath though oh they're so nice Anyway, I hope you like this video, I hope you like these designs, and if you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget to check out Nail Sugar's website, use code NATMUG10 when you place your order to get 10% off. Do check out Nail Kami's website, they've got some amazing gel polishes. And I will see you lovely lot on Monday, have an amazing weekend.